Hello and welcome, my name is Karl Kioski, I'm from General Bytes and in this tutorial I will show you how to configure Coinbase uh, wallet which enables you to sell Bitcoins, Ethereum and Litecoins on your Bitcoin ATM. So first uh, you need to create an account on uh, Coinbase uh, web page, so if you go to our website and you click uh, on products, you choose BATM2 and you click on features. There you can scroll down and see the list of supported wallets. Here you can click on Coinbase. It gets you to the Coinbase where you can register. I'm already registered and logged in. So here, first uh, what, what we have to find out is what our accounts are. Here, are, here I will click on accounts and I can see that I have multiple accounts, one with, for Ethereum, one for Litecoin and one is called main account and that one is uh, Bitcoin account. Uh, you can see that I have uh, money only on one of the accounts and when you create a, when you create a new account on uh, Coinbase you have to get the receiving address first, that's something which uh, Coinbase doesn't create automatically for you, you have to do that manually. So I'll show you how to do that. You click first on the account and you click on wallet address. And when you click on wallet address, it creates new address for you. So we will, we will have to do that for each of those accounts. That's mandatory at least now. So these are the, this is the address for Litecoin and this is uh, for the Bitcoin. As you can see I already did some, some of the transactions uh, before the Bitcoin hard fork. Okay, so we have our, we just generated our addresses on the accounts. Uh, you, can have, you can also create m more accounts if you need so. Uh, but let's, let's go into the uh, let's go into the General Bytes uh, server. Here I is my server here is one my one Bitcoin ATM you can see here that uh, right now I'm selling only bitcoins on the ATM and uh, my crypto setting my current crypto setting is my BTC so let's so let's add the Litecoin so uh, not Litecoin let's start with Ethereum I'll click on crypto settings click on add Let's call this crypto settings my my Ethereum Ethereum so ETH okay my cash currency for this uh, machine is CZK but in your case it will be probably USD or something like that that's the currency in which you specify the minimum cash amount per transaction. Uh, let's say that um, in my case it will be 100 crowns, that's the lowest banknote in Czech crowns. Uh, where the uh, price of the Ethereum will be taken from, let's say Coinbase and uh, parameter will be leave empty but uh, you can also specify here uh, for example EUR so that uh, so this will this will take the price from the coinbase between euro and ethereum if you want it uh, let's say uh, USD ethereum uh, so you, you will type in USD but anyway the ATM server will then in, in our case it will also to calculate from Ethereum to USD and from USD to Czech Crown because my machine is accepting Czech Crowns. Okay so hot wallet buy we will use Coinbase wallet. Notice uh, here that it's called Coinbase wallet not Coinbase uh, legacy wallet and here we have to provide the API key, secret key and account name account name parameter is uh, is optional and that's the account name which you see here main account LTC wallet but you don't have to specify that because we it will automatically choose the only 
only account which is uh, which is Ethereum and which is marked as primary. You can see primary in this line. So uh, exchange we will not use. So I'll put their demo exchange. And yes, you will be using strategy number zero, sending coins from hot wallet by profit let's say 5% 5 to 0 uh, fixed transaction fee we can leave for 0 now okay so what we filled almost everything except for the API key secret key and the account name I already mentioned that the account name we can uh, we don't have to fill in so where do we get the API key and secret key you get that uh, in on Coinbase when you click on settings and API access. You can see that I already played around here and I created some of the API keys. So you will have to click on new API key. Uh, you will have to type in the password. Okay, that's the password which you use for logging in into the into the Coinbase. Now, which this API key is basically a password or some kind of key which allows the ATM server to access the Coinbase your Coinbase accounts. And here you specify which this key, which permissions it's gonna have. Uh, I recommend you to to give it access to all of your accounts so it simplifies your configuration and also also you check all of these select all of these settings of the API version 2 permissions okay and you click on create so now it generated the API key and API secret okay so what you have to do is you have to copy this and write it down somewhere write it uh, save it to some file or put it on the yeah put it into a notepad and place it somewhere this is the API key this is the API secret the reason why you should write it down is that this API secret is displayed only once and that's now and as you can see this API key is disabled now and for security reasons Coinbase uh, intentionally uh, waits 48 hours to enable your API key it sends you an email that okay somebody is creating the API key uh, and you have time to cancel that but uh, but you have to wait 48 hours if you want to get that enabled I did uh, I did my homework and uh, two days ago I created an API account and this is uh, what is what is my API key and this is what is my API secret so let's take the, that hole and let's paste it uh, paste it over here I'll not specify the account name as this is not needed and uh, I will not play with the sell part, sell part will be the similar I'll just play now with the buy direction I'll click on submit and voila I have my it my ethereum crypto settings so let's test, uh, test it that it works let's click on run ethereum settings test and I'll test test hot wallet buy I'll click on yes and you can see that the coin base return it return it to server my address uh, address of the hot wallet and the current balance which is zero okay so that works that's fine we can now go to the terminal and we add uh, we add here uh, Ethereum. So cryptocurrency, I'll add Ethereum, and here I will choose uh, my Ether, and I click on modify. 
and uh, now my now you could see on my ATM that uh, it now it now offers also the my Ethereum. In uh, case of my Bitcoin, you can see that uh, I already configured also the Coinbase wallet uh, for for Bitcoin, uh, and you can see that uh, in case of Bitcoin there are there are two options so for Coinbase. Coinbase legacy wallet and wallet please use the wallet not the legacy one the legacy one is the old one and it's deprecated okay the, the as you can see the settings uh, would be the same API C key secret key and account name let's uh, let's add the Litecoin as and as you may have guessed it's the same procedure Litecoin of CZK hundred I will take the price from uh, coin base uh, we will use it uh, we'll use the euro market Uh, hot wallet will be of course coinbase api key and api secret we use the same one now exchange buy we leave it as demo for example no that's not it's not there so let's leave it as bitfinex and of course we have to set some margin because we don't want to do that for free and uh, and that's it uh, let's save that let's go again to the setting and let's try to test hot wallet buy okay this is our light can address and this is the current balance of course before trying trying to buy the litecoin or ethereum i would have to prefill the hot wallet with uh, litecoin or ethereum or bitcoin okay so uh, the last thing which we didn't do but uh, which you already figured out is that we forgot to add the litecoin here litecoin and we choose here my litecoin configuration okay modify and that's it so good luck uh, selling uh, ethereum uh, of i don't know I don't know if there is something which I didn't cover uh, probably we will add uh, in future we will add more exchanges which support uh, Ether Ethereum uh, we will add more rate sources uh, or, uh, also you may you may uh, you may notice that here self-provided Ethereum wallet which is uh, which is the get uh, wallet it turned out to be very complicated for customers to configure it and it's also really hard to maintain it on our side because the Ethereum wallet uh, development is so fast that uh, that the configuration is always different and so that's why we came up with the Coinbase wallet uh, support which is much easier as you could see in the video Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.